I think fundamentally diabetes is a metabolic disease and we focus on the processes in the cell that control metabolism. And this is very important in the cells that make and release insulin, but it's also important in the cells that respond to insulin. So we are trying to dissect those mechanisms. And the reason we do that is we think that things go wrong with these processes in the disease. I would say the greatest challenge is to make sense of the enormous amounts of data that we can generate with the new techniques that we have at our disposal. So there is not a lack of data, but there is a lack of understanding. We have, together with other people in our environment, been able to link a variant of a protein that controls metabolism in primarily beta cells to increase risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And this is caused by a reduction in ultimately insulin secretion. So this finding, I think, justifies the work that we do because if there is a perturbation of metabolism, the disease will develop. And it also focuses our efforts on trying to figure out exactly how this works. Well, the short-term goals are trying to elucidate what transcription factors and translation factors do when they control proteins and genes in the mitochondria because this will basically regulate metabolism in cells and there are a number of such proteins so it's not a tremendous task I think this is doable in the next couple of years you know deep inside I'm probably a little boy that wants to make a, a huge discovery that makes a difference and um, you know, I can feel this when I see my patients that they are craving for something that could actually resolve the problems that they have and if I could be a part of that it would be fantastic. I think on a more specific level I think it is a it's a challenge to try to find some way to treat mitochondrial perturbations because mitochondria are the organelles in the cell that control metabolism uh, and this is difficult because every cell basically in the body has mitochondria so you have to figure out a specific way to treat the mitochondria in the cells that you are looking at and that you are engaged with uh, that will be difficult but if that could be achieved that would be a fantastic breakthrough